On a calm September morning in 1977, NASA launched Voyager 1, what would become one of humanity's greatest technological achievements. It wasn't just another spacecraft, it was a leap into the unknown, a symbol of our desire to explore the cosmos. Packed with scientific instruments and dreams, Voyager 1 carried the hopes of an entire civilization. Originally, Voyager 1's mission was modest, study Jupiter and Saturn. Launched alongside its twin, Voyager 2, the spacecraft was built with 1970s technology, hand-soldered circuits, analog systems, and just 69 kilobytes of memory. Engineers expected it to last five years. Nearly five decades later, it's still transmitting, still exploring. In March 1979, Voyager 1 reached Jupiter. The images it returned, especially of the massive Great Red Spot, stunned scientists. But the real surprise came from Io, one of Jupiter's moons, where Voyager captured the first evidence of volcanic activity beyond Earth. In November 1980, it reached Saturn and revealed the true complexity of its rings. Once fault simple, the rings turned out to be shaped by tiny shepherd moons and rich in structure. With these discoveries, textbooks were rewritten. After its planetary tour, Voyager 1 didn't stop. It sailed past Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, venturing into interstellar space. In 2012, it crossed the Heliopause, the boundary where the Sun's influence ends and the galaxy begins. Voyager became the first human-made object to leave the solar system. What it found there was unexpected. Plasma waves, magnetic vibrations, and faint, rhythmic pulses, signals unlike anything previously recorded. Some scientists speculated about dark matter or unknown physics. The SETI Institute noted the signals were new and unexplained. While they didn't claim alien origins, they acknowledged the mystery. Carl Sagan, one of Voyager's architects, once said, Absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. Could there be something, or someone, out there? Voyager endures harsh conditions, cosmic radiation, freezing temperatures, and vast emptiness. Its power source, radioisotope thermoelectric generators, convert heat from decaying plutonium into electricity. Though weakening, they still keep Voyager alive, Inside Voyager is the Golden Record, a time capsule of humanity. It contains greetings in 55 languages, music, natural sounds, and emotions, birdsong, laughter, Beethoven, Blind Willie Johnson. This disc carries now essence, floating through the stars. Even after decades, Voyager keeps surprising us. In 2021, it detected a steady plasma hum in interstellar space. Unlike earlier, short bursts, this term was continuous. Cornell astrophysicist Stella Ora likened it to a faint tone in a noisy room. It proved space isn't silent, it's alive with energy and Earth. Voyager 1 is the farthest human-made object in existence. A signal takes over 22 hours to reach it. Out there, the sun recorded isn't sound in the traditional sense. In space, these are converted to audio, they form strange rising tones. Dr. Don Gurnett, who led the plasma wave team, said, This hum shows us the interstellar medium is not quiet, it's alive. Voyager 2, its twin, is also deep in space, almost 20 billion kilometers from Earth. It, too, sends data about cosmic rays, plasma, and magnetic waves. Some findings are predictable, others defy explanation. Scientists believe the voyagers may be passing through regions shaped by forces we don't yet understand, maybe rogue planets, unknown magnetic fields, or even new physics. Astronomer David Bennett estimates there may be billions of rogue planets in our galaxy, worlds without stars. If they have moons like Jupiter's Europa, they could harbor suggest complex magnetic shifts and plasma changes, possibly influenced by such hidden worlds. When Voyager 1 crossed into interstellar space, silence was expected. Instead, it heard a hum, 
evidence that deep space is in still. Some scientists, like Dr. Jill Tarter, believe intelligent civilizations could use plasma ways to communicate.